then uh, i have got a this uh, freedom fighters of manipur out of 112 names out of 112 names there are more than 80 cookies names who fought bravely for this motherland so justice pv chakravarti at that time justice pv chakravarti he was also holding the uh, the uh, position of uh, governor also he was officiating governor then so clement atley was his guest in 1956 and both is both of them started uh, their conversation pv chakravarti asked clement atley that why what was the reason that you liberated india in 1947 i don't find any reason because what he said he said that you got a white paper in may 1948 that you can rule india and indian ocean till 1960 number 1 number 2 quit india movement was suppressed like anything till 1945 number 4 you you uh, won second world war in 1945 number 4 you were atomic power uh, at that time you became atomic power at that time so what was the reason that you liberated india in 1947 you know that what he answered what clement atley answered he took a pause and he said there are several reasons there are several reasons but the most important reason was netaji subhash chandra bose this is it again he questioned again uh, pv chakravarti pv chakravarti again he questioned that how come how netaji subhash chandra bose can be the most important reason behind uh, the independence of india because in 1933 you people ousted him from the country in 1941 he again left india in 1945 till august 1945 the ina activities were suppressed by britishers after that there uh, means there was no whereabouts of netaji subhash chandra bose then how come how come netaji subhash chandra bose was the most important reason behind that again you know that what he answered he said that indian national army and netaji subhash chandra bose what they did on the psychological ground of uh, of the citizens of this country what they did that we were ruling this country with the support of indians only who were, who were working as sipahis who were working as in different positions in our forces we were working on the basis of them only but when ina just after uh, means ina's philosophy and ina uh, motto was circulated everywhere what impact was there in the indian sipahis who were working with us they became against us and due to that in 1946 78 out of 88 ships of indian naval army they were against royal uh, navy they were against the britishers so he said that we didn't know that which gun point will be towards us so this was the entire total contribution was uh, due to ina and uh, netaji subhash chandra bose so the reason behind the india's independence was none other than it was netaji subhash chandra bose then he again threw third question fourth question whatever it may be then what was the role of mahatma gandhi you know my dear students he answered in just one word and that word was it is on record i am again saying and that word was he took a smile he smiled and he just spoke one word m i n i m a l that is minimal so but 
our historiography didn't do justice with INA and Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. I am really thrilled that I have got an opportunity to interact with, to see these godly faces, to these godly uh, personalities uh, physically with my I mean, uh, eyes and I could just touch their feet. I am feeling that I am very fortunate. Cookies, they were definitely, they, they were the first groups who met, who met, Cookies were the first groups, definitely, to contact the Indo-Japanese forces, though it was, just, it was tried to establish that most of the people of this entire region earlier, they, they supported the uh, British army, but it, is, it was not true. Few of them, if they joined uh, Britishers, they left and they again rejoined uh, Indo-Japanese forces. So they, they were the first groups, cookies were the first groups who met in Chinzin Valley uh, with Indo-Japanese forces and they supported them like anything. After a few initial meetings, uh, almost in all cookie villages, the headmen they took the initiative in mobilizing the people in support of the Indo-Japanese forces. In terms of the assistance given to the invading forces, the cookies have offered not only the needful services like they were not acted like uh, uh, porters or coolies or, or labor forces who collected versions and uh, are as guides, informers or interpreters. They, they acted like this only, but most of them, there are several numbers, they, most of them, many of them, they participated very bravely in the battles as men of war. In, uh, I have got a, this uh, Freedom Fighters of Manipur, out of 112 names, out of 112 names, there are more than 80 cookies names who fought bravely for this motherland. So I'd request that the, to this August gathering that ICHR, Indian Council of Historical Research is planning to write some monographs on some Hansang heroes. So please let us know the authors who can write maybe 10, of, uh, 10 authors to write 10 monographs or 20 monographs on these personalities. We will be really obliged. Uh, Dr. Gaita is here. He has worked a lot uh, on cookies and INA connections. So I request him also officially. So I will not take much time. I will not, though it is not an academic meet. So seeing the audience, I'd again bow my head towards the valor, towards the courage of these warriors, of the INA warriors, Kuki warriors, again, and uh, due, to whom, due, to, due to whom we are free today of Subhash Chandra Bose. It happens with me, and I think it might uh, happen with you also. It should happen, it must happen. Whenever I see the picture of Subhash Chandra Bose or whenever I hear his name, the pace of circulation of blood in my body, it really enhances. So with this thought, I will again ask you to say Jai Hind! Jai Hind! Jai Hind! Chibai, Namaskar, I love you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you.